Hey guys, Golden Retriever here. I thought I'd do a quick video on my first year of metal detecting, which season started in about uh, late August and ended in about early November when, as you can see outside, our winter is officially here. So this is no more metal detecting for me this year. But what did I find? And this is my first video, so please do give it a thumbs up and a like. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I did find some interesting things, obviously like any new metal detector, a lot of garbage, uh, pull tabs, uh, inhalers, uh, pieces of metal of all different sorts, aluminum cans, um, got some brass objects here, uh, lots of locks, uh, but I did find a lot of coins. And here in Canada, we have the dollar coins, which you can see here, one dollar coin and the $2 coins. So when you're finding a lot of dollar coins, 25 cent pieces, it tends to add up pretty quickly. Uh, over the two and a half months, I'd say I found about, you know, 125, 130 bucks of loose change, which is some of it in very good condition, some of it corroded. So I'm gonna have to, as you can see, like this penny, which is totally destroyed. Uh, but the rest of it, I just need to clean it up. I'm probably gonna get myself a rock tumbler um, start cleaning it up so I can put some of the change back into circulation. Uh, I found a lot of keys and one of the things I found in my first year, and I did have a lot of help from a friend of mine, a guy who I bought my metal detector from. Uh, I actually use a Garrett AT Pro, as you can see here. Haven't put it away yet for the season. Uh, I use a sand scoop for the beach and water detecting, along with my Garrett pointer, pin pointer, which came in very, very handy in a lot of cases this year. And for coins and without making a lot of holes in the parks, I use just a really big screwdriver. Um, I got this for like a buck at a garage sale, uh, but it's helped me to pick out a lot of coins from the ground without creating very large holes. Um, I use a lesh. I mean, yes, I did spend a bit of money to buy the lesh, uh, but I guess you can use any garden type tool to do a hole as long as you're digging a proper hole and filling it in. Uh, but let's get to some of the interesting finds. Um, lots of toy cars. So I went to Kitty's Park, I found some toy cars, found some watch, um, watch band, bracelet bands, whatever you call them. Keys, a lot of keys. Sinkers at the beach. Um, actually, wherever I found the sinkers, I found interesting you know, pieces of metal. For instance, this gold ring. This gold ring is a 10 carat. It's marked, it's regal, it's marked inside. And I'll tell you what it weighs right here. So we give you a quick weight on this. Three point two four seven gram, my first, first ever gold ring. And I found that in the beach. Um, after a lot of perseverance, I had spent a few days hunting at the beach. Uh, came up with this first ring, which I thought was amazing looking. I I saw it in the scoop, my first, first find at the beach. And I think I almost had a heart attack. Unfortunately, this is not a gold ring. It's marked inside Sandino or some brand, so it's just a fashion bling ring. But man, oh man, when this thing rung around in the scoop, what a sound it gave off. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, junk. And on the same beach, I found this as well, which after trying to clean it, when I first looked at it, it looked like it was gold. Could have been 10 carat. No marking inside. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's junk. Um, I found also a 10 carat gold ring, and I tested it with an acid kit that I bought. I haven't tested a diamond because I don't have a diamond tester, but pretty neat. A couple of silver bracelets. Uh, those were really scratchy. So one of the things I'll say about metal detecting is I did help have help from a friend of mine, Richard, who I'll give a shout out to. Um, he sold me the detector. He showed me how to use it, but I'm a very visual person. So for me, um, auditive sounds are not the best. Uh, I can't distinguish between them. Uh, but I did follow a lot of what he told me to do with the leads on, you know, certain ranges of what you find coins at, for example, you know, quarters or you know, toonies, that, uh, sorry, loonies or dollar coin in Canada that would ring up at around 70, you know, it'll jump up and down in the early to late 70s. 
um, you know, silver and gold. He, he would always tell me, look for signals. You know, he searches for 14 and up, so he'll look for 50, 60, 70s for his higher carat golds. And what I did find is when I heard this ring on the beach, and I dug this down like probably about 20 scoop loads, um, it was it was a solid 65. Like, I mean, it was solid, solid, solid sound coming off of it. As opposed to the silver, which did ring up high, but it was a very scratchy sound because it was it was a bracelet all coiled up. So um, I also found a silver ring as well as, you know, some Canadian quarters. And I think my best find here for Canadian silver quarters is a 1944 uh, with the young king on it. This is a, this is a great coin. Um, some small 10 cent pieces, um, newer 1950s, sorry, I don't know how my glasses on, but it's 1950s or six, early 60s. I'll see if I can get it to focus. 10 cent in silver. Um, those are great to find. I found a Jefferson Moore nickel. We don't find a lot of Canadian coins up in Canada. Uh, I'm sorry, American coins up in Canada, but this was really nice. I don't know if you can see the date on it. It's a 1911 wheat penny but it's in terrible condition. I mean, I dug this out of the ground. You can see you can see the one cent on it here. If I can get it to focus right there. And yep, I did nick it. Sorry, regrettably, I'm new to this, so I know I'm gonna get a little bit of a backlash for that. Also found a lot of junk, blingy type bracelets. This I thought was gold until I started cleaning it. And then, as you can see, the color came off. And I did an acid test, and on the back, there's there's copper, or brass, or something that's coming out of it. But when I pulled it out of the sand at a kiddies park, oh man, oh man, I thought this was a gold bracelet. I think I almost had a heart attack there as well. Uh, I found some interesting. That's a copper ring. This I thought was silver, but you, I saw a bit of rust at the top. And after testing it, you could tell it's definitely not silver. Uh, but tons of bling, dog dog tags, shotgun shells. These, these are rowed away at the beach or at uh, certain water hunting grounds where only the bottoms are left. And they ring up really nice because they're round. But yeah. Um, but where I found the heavy sinker, I kept following a line of shells and heavier stuff. And that's where I found that gorgeous gold ring. But thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys following the channel liking the channel and subscribing. I'll be posting a few videos on some of my hobbies, uh, one of which is metal detecting, but also uh, I do a lot of e-scrap and scrapping of computers. It's kind of a sideline hobby of mine. Um, I work at a day job at an office, so I need to play with my hands by um, you know, unscrewing parts and taking apart computers and things like that. Um, I'm also gonna be talking a bit about um, stacking in gold in some of my other um, videos so please do follow me give me a shout out like i'd like to say a shout out to beach pirate who inspired me to make my first video i love watching his videos pretty funny guy uh he's out there in vietnam but is back in australia for a while i also watch robert ferguson so please do look and take a look at their videos thanks a lot for you guys time happy new year's for 2020 and wish you guys all the best follow your dreams take care guys golden retriever out